Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor, and I'm a wellness expert, and I'm boldly stepping out to share a message of holistic health care and wellness to uh, everybody that listens. And so the point of holistic health care is to get to the cause of why you're not feeling as good as you are as you used to. And um, I'm going to talk about two different subjects. One is diet, the other one is supplements. So now in our diet, especially in this country in America, we have um, some foods that are that cause poor health. And if you eat them every day, or even once a week sometimes, uh, you feel less and less healthy. And I'm going to rattle off uh, some uh, conditions um, that would cause poor health. You may already know this. You may have already cleaned up your diet. But let me just do this real quick. We have white refined sugar, artificial sweeteners, fake fats like hydrogenated fats. Um, we have uh, chemicals used for preservatives, coloring, flavoring, and there's actually 12,000 chemicals that are allowed to be in our, our um, food supply. We have genetically modified organisms. We have agrochemicals that are sprayed on crops that are, that, that, that are then harvested and they eat those agricultural chemicals. So you may have already cleaned up your diet really well. You have organic food, you know, fresh, high-quality meat, purified your water. And I've talked to a lot of people. They've cleaned up their diet, but they still feel some problems going on with their health. And that's where we come in also. We help you with your diet, but we also get very specific with um, what's going on with your body, why you still feel uh, some poor health somewhere. So we have supplements that, uh, we have specific supplements for every single organ. We have supplements to help with um, different immune challenges like bacteria, fungus, virus, and parasites. And uh, you want to make sure your nervous system is supported really well, your immune system is strong. We have a fantastic um, biofeedback analysis where your body's telling us what help that it needs. There's no guessing. And um, I mean, I personally have seen tens of thousands of patient visits since I started my practice in 1997. So uh, we're really good at what we do. So uh, like I said, we want to get to the cause. Now in conventional medicine, there's no getting to the cause. That's not their license. What they do is they save your life, which we really appreciate in the ER. We like our lives to be saved. And the other thing they do is treat symptoms. And unfortunately, they're treating symptoms with poisonous chemicals. And you commonly have heard the term prescription medicine. Yeah, that's poisonous chemical. Each prescription drug has an average of 13 side effects. So the more drugs you take, the sicker you get. That's just how it is. So if you have a chronic condition... Like, let's say numbness down your arm or, or numbness in your feet. Um, going to a neurologist is probably not the best place to go because they're going to diagnose you and then give you a prescription drug. They're not going to heal your nervous system. You need your nervous system to be healed. If you've had a hormonal problem for 10 years, an endocrinologist is not necessarily the best place to go. They're going to give you some synthetic hormone or even if it's a natural hormone. Um, that can actually drive your body into cancer. Um, look at Suzanne Summers. She's on her third cancer, and she's been taking natural hormones uh, most of her adult life. So I can go over this, you know, over all these different examples. Gastroenterology. We fix the stomach and intestines easily, whereas in conventional medical gastroenterology, they use drugs that don't fix the cause, and then you end up maybe getting some surgery. So I just spent some time bashing medicine, and uh, in many cases it deserves it. Um, but let's be honest, um, there's nobody that wants more drugs or more surgery. And I've asked this question many times in front of audiences. Raise your hand if you want more drugs and more surgery for yourself or your family in the next three years. Nobody raises their hand. So we all agree that we want less medicine. So that's good. Now let me change the subject a little bit and just imagine um, what it would be like if you were absolutely going to live to be 94. Would you be happy about that or would you be sad about that? I've asked this question too in front of many audiences and a lot of people would not want to live to be 94. And the reasons why are because um, you, lose, you may lose your mind. You may lose your bowel control or your bladder control and have to wear a diaper. You may be very weak and end up in a wheelchair. 
or have chronic pain or be on lots of medications or lose your financial independence. And somebody has to come in and be power of attorney over you. So all of these problems are because your health is down and you let your health slip or you made a decision to go on a medication that caused uh, your, you to lose your brain power. I've seen this many times. So if you were, if I had a crystal ball and I knew for a fact that you're going to live to be 94, the question is, when do you start working on your health so that when you are 94, you still have a strong mind, you still have your muscles, you still have bowel control, and you can make your own decisions. Nobody's going to step in and make decisions for you. Because if, some, if that happens, they're, they're going to make decisions that they think are best for you. Not necessarily what's known, what you know to be best for you. So the, the time to make uh, the decision to improve your health is right now. You have to start right now to improve your health. It's not next week or next year. If you think, oh, next week, guess what? That's going to occur. Um, you're going to delay week by week by week. And before you know it, a year goes by, 10 years go by. No, you got to make your decision right now to improve your health. So at the beginning of this uh, little talk, I mentioned that I'm a wellness expert. My license is chiropractic. And when I say the word chiropractic, uh, you may be thinking chiropractic adjustments, neck pain, back pain. Yeah, I learned all that in school. But in 1995, I made the decision to be a nutrition-based chiropractor. I started my practice in 97, and I've been uh, going hardcore holistic since then, trying to find out um, how much good can, be, can we get through nutrition. And it's, it takes every day I study nutrition. I learn something new every day. And with my patients' experiences, taking supplements and changing their diet, I find new discoveries in this field of nutrition. And I'm finding new causes, and it's really, really exciting. But um, the point of me talking about my, my license is, if you get into a car accident, and now you need a dozen adjustments for your whiplash from the car accident, I'm not the person to see. Um, I hired a chiropractor that works here in the office. He's brilliant with that. And he will fix you up, you know, whether it's back pain, neck pain, and you need adjustments to, to get fixed up. Um, or muscle work. He's great with muscle work, too. Um, but what I do is I work with people for six months to two years to get your health back. Maybe you lost your health 20 years ago or 35 years ago. We can still get it back to a greater and greater degree over time by dietary changes and supplements, including herbs and homeopathy. Those are the two things we work with. We don't get into life coaching or meditation or drum circles or anything like that. It's supplements and food. It's biochemistry. We stick with biochemistry, healing the body, healing tissues, healing the organs with uh, biochemistry and whole food. So um, I'm going to close this um, by giving you a couple of scenarios as to uh, experience I've, experiences I've had with people. I've had two people find my YouTube channel and watch some videos and call me up and they say to me, I'm at the hospital and the surgeons want to do quadruple bypass heart surgery tomorrow morning. And the surgery is, is scheduled. Should I get this done? So I'm, I'm sharing this story with you because the day before your heart surgery is not the time to find out if you should do holistic health care. <laughs> you want to do holistic health care beginning right now. And um, you could jump in with both feet or you could do just a little bit at a time. It doesn't matter. Just start with what you can take, learn, read articles online, watch some videos, get educated, and uh, just start somewhere. And you're always looking for results. And you're not doing something because you read an article. You're actually doing something because you've had good results with it in the past. So your diet is an experiment. Your supplements are experimental. And they have to prove to you that they work for you because you feel better. Okay, um, another scenario that I want to share with you is um, imagine like the last time you're in the emergency room whether it's for yourself or a family member. And just think of um, when you were there, what did you see? And recall what you uh, heard. 
And lastly, I want you to recall the smell. And when you're in the ER, it's um, a place where there's a lot of fear and maybe some pressure or duress where you have to make a decision. It's either A or B. And whatever decision you make, you can't reverse it because it's a profound decision. Like, should you, are you going to get surgery or something like that? Um, will you be admitted, you know, for, for uh, another floor at the hospital? Are you going to have to go on a pain medication? Okay, so the ER is not the best place to make a decision because you're afraid. Or maybe you have some pressure from a family member or from the doctor. So it's all about time and place. And maybe you're watching this video right now, sitting on the couch, in your home, in your living room, and it's comfortable. Hopefully you just had a great meal, and you're happy, and your mind is working well. And you have clarity of thought, and you're not afraid. Now's the best time and best place to make decisions on your health care. So decision number one, start working on your health. Uh, decision number two, go holistic. Decision number three, uh, start researching some supplements and researching some diet uh, information, some nutrition information. Those are great decisions to make right now and start acting on them right now. If you want help from us, we are here for you. We do long distance consulting over the phone or by Skype. Um, and it's always great to, for you to come into the office because then we could do our nutrition analysis. Uh, we run blood work either here in the office or long distance. And um, you're watching this um, and you have access to our phone number, our website. All this is available to you. We have plenty of articles on our blog. I have more than 60 videos on my YouTube channel. So there's tons of information. And um, anyways, I hope this video is encouraging to you to make good, healthy decisions right now. And um, you can start going down the right path so that you're not taking more drugs in the future. You're avoiding surgery. And, um, and this is, I, I hope this is beneficial for your life.